What's poppin' Air Gunners? I'm Denny, the Flatbroke Air Gunner. Uh, on the channel, or on the group in Facebook, uh, I've heard a lot of people asking questions about different types of stuff to shoot at besides just paper targets. And these are some of the things that I've done, and basically it's using stuff from around the house that you'd basically throw out. So what you're gonna need for the cheapest, you know, easiest target is a box that, you know, this one came from Amazon, clearly. A bunch of magazines. There's only two here because it's it's already full, and I'll explain in a minute. Some normal paper, duct tape of whatever color you're choosing. Usually the brighter color, the better, because it's going to end up being a part of a shoot-and-see target. And then black spray paint. So what you do is you start out with the magazines and the duct tape. You take one of the magazines and put it all the way down at the bottom of the box in one corner, like this. And then you tear off some duct tape and tape it here and here. And then the next magazine you lay down on the top corner, like this. And then you tape it down here and there. And then the next magazine would rotate to this corner. And you tape it there and there. And then it rotates back down. And you just continuously spiral the magazines around and around and around and fill the box until you end up with this and there's a small gap on the outside but when you're shooting at the target you're going to be shooting at the center and that center is solid so what you need to do this again this would be the next magazine it would go in I'm gonna put it in on this corner and like I said you just tear off a little piece of duct tape about like that Go down the back or bottom edge, stick it to the other magazines, peel off another little piece. I usually do this when I watch TV and uh, it helps get rid of all the magazines in the house that would normally get thrown out. So there you go. And then you turn around, close it all up. This is eventually going to be the back of the target because all the other stuff is already fully touching and uh, adhesive down to the front. So, you go like that. Get that down. Once you get that down, that's where the piece of paper comes into play. And the piece of paper is basically to make it easier to see if Eventually, when you do chew up the magazines and you shoot through the back, after so many months of use, you know to check the back and see what's going on. And with this white paper, it should be very apparent when the pellet comes through. You'll see a hole in the paper, so you know that that's the end of the life of the target. So after you get this all done, the bottom of the box where the first magazine has been secured... I've already taken the tape, and again, you could use yellow tape or orange tape or green tape. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually trying the chrome or silver tape to see how that works, but you turn around, you tape the whole box off like that. Now you take the black spray paint, shake it up, and go over it so all you can see is black. And then when you shoot through it, you'll see a silver ring around the black hole. It's a shoot and see target. So this is real simple. Uh, I'm going to shut the video down and I'm going to paint this. And at the end of the video, when we get done making the secondary, more a little more expensive, complicated target, we will shoot them and you will see. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you here in a minute with more target fun. All right, people, we're back. This is the fully painted shoot and see box target. So next time you see this, it'll be out in the field, and we will be shooting it. So I'm going to set this down, and this is the more complicated target. Got this crate at uh, um, Home Depot. You can get them in all different sizes. What you want to do is uh, I'm going to take this scrap metal that we had in my uh, workroom, and I'm going to lay it out all across the bottom of this box to where it's covering the entire back and nothing can slip through and nothing can get out and then I'm going to tape it all together with the duct tape. We're not going to do that now on camera because clearly you understand what it takes to duct tape up a bunch of metal. 
Well, next thing is old uniforms. These were uh, uh, guard at uh, penitentiaries uniforms. These, this is going to be the next step. I already, that's just to show you what it is. I already have a whole stack of it all folded ah, and ready to go right inside. Let me put that in there. It should be a little full. So how it rises up like that, that's where the magazines come in. You put a couple of magazines in there. That will help keep the targets square because these targets are going to be peeking through the hole that is cut in this. This is the lid. You want to drill holes inside of the lid. Don't do it all the way on the outside. You want to do it on the inside. You want to have about an inch to two inches around the perimeter because that's what's going to hold that target down when you're shooting at it. And then you trim these to where they fit on the outside of where you cut. So that will secure it inside the target. So then you turn around. I'm not going to put these because they haven't been cut, but these are just shoot and see targets that we got from Walmart. Real inexpensive. You could use homemade shoot and see stuff, like I said, with uh, cardboard. Cut out a piece of cardboard about that big, put tape on it, spray paint it, and it will show through this side. When you put it all together, it's going to go together just like that. And then you can lean it up and you take shots. I'm now going to cut this uh, top section out right here. But we're going to do that in a photo montage so it doesn't waste a whole bunch of time. So I'll see you back here in a second. people welcome back the hole has been cut as you can see is very simple just from hole to hole and the way that this this yellow lid is laid out it has the grid on it so it's real simple to do anyone could do it we took one of the shoot and see cut targets and trimmed it down a little on each side so that will go in the middle like that this goes down like that and that's simple you now have a target that has a metal back. After you could load more magazines up to make it a little harder for the pellets to get all the way through, but with that much clothing in there, I really don't think that it's going to get all the way through and do any damage to that metal in the back. So this has been a, a real fun um, to tutorial on making targets. First up, one that's a little more expensive, and then the box target that was dirt cheap. So. Uh, we're going to wrap this up for right now, and then come tomorrow, we're going to do a video, or later this evening possibly, we'll do a video of us shooting both this one and the other one and show you how they all turn out, and then we'll wrap it up and call it a night. I'd like to thank you guys for uh, staying this long. We're almost done, and you'll get to see these in action in a moment. Stay tuned.
right, here we go, people. Like I said, here's the magazine target. And as you can see, the groupings, we put five shots down on this bad boy and five shots down on this. And if you look at it, you know, not, not that shabby of a grouping, but nothing has penetrated the paper in the back. So that's how you keep track of it. And this has, you know, four inches, five inches of magazines in it. So you'll be able to shoot this for months before it starts messing around and coming out the other side. And again, if you're shooting a 357 cal high-powered air gun, you're going to blow through it in one shot. But I'm talking about your average nitro piston. This is a, a, the... What is it? The Benjamin Titan NP. So it's the Benjamin Titan Nitro Piston in 22. And we've shot at a target like this literally for a year before we started having problems coming out the other side. So that's that one. And this target right here, I would like to say uh, this concept was first shown to me by a guy... Orion the Iguana Hunter on YouTube. If you don't know about him, check his channel out. Very cool stuff. He has very nice guns and a beautiful area to shoot in. Uh, he seems like a really nice guy. Again, Orion the Iguana Hunter. One of his fans made it, I think is what he said on the channel. But they used the big giant tub, the two by four foot tub or something like that. And they filled it with rubber shredded mulch for your yard which I thought was a great idea, but that was $35 for a bag. And we already had the uniforms laying around. I've already put cloth inside of another target and shot at it with layers. I think it was like 185 layers of bed sheet and a little cookie tin. And we were able to shoot that for, again, about a year before stuff started deforming on the back. They weren't coming through, but the back of the tin was starting to dent and deform. So... Anyways, these are the targets that, uh, you know, almost cost nothing at all. If you're interested in them, I hope you make them. And please, uh, you know, post a, or a picture on the Facebook group. If you do decide to do something like that, give me a shout out. And uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Not only does your viewership, but your friendship means a lot to me. Always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting. Always be a straight shooter. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And, uh, and God bless. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves out there.